All right, so today we're going to talk about something that in the fitness and supplement world is very misunderstood uh, from what it is to what it does to how to use it, and that is creatine. Now, creatine is nitrogenic organic acid that your body produces naturally uh, in small amounts. It's found in the diet in eggs and meat, so if you are a vegan or vegetarian, uh, you may have lower levels of creatine than an omnivore. Uh, not levels in the way that are dangerous, but levels in the way that you're putting yourself at a disadvantage uh, if you're working in strength sports or really most athletics. Um, the good news is that when they test groups of omnivores that supplement creatine and groups of vegans, vegetarians that supplement creatine, at the end of supplementation, the creatine levels in both groups of people are about the same. So if you supplement creatine, you can bring your creatine levels uh, up to the point of someone who is eating meat and supplementing creatine on top of that. Now what creatine does, a lot of misunderstanding uh, about this, including myself maybe two, three years ago, creatine, a lot of people say it, it immediately increases your strength. That's not how creatine works. Creatine in the body uh, increases the amount of energy going to cells when they're under stress, specifically and especially muscle cells. So that means that when your body starts to fatigue doing a muscular intensive activity, the amount of energy going to those cells is increased at that moment. And so what that does for your workout is it allows you to put in an extra couple reps of each workout, which makes you a little bit stronger the next time you go to do that workout. So it's not uh, a huge um, you know, head and shoulders above the rest kind of advantage, but it's going to give you a little bit of an advantage and it's going to make your workouts a little bit more effective by reducing the amount of fatigue that you feel in the first couple of repetitions of a set. Um, is creatine a steroid? I hear that a lot. Creatine is not a steroid, uh, either uh, from a scientific definition or a social definition. Uh, it's not what it does and it's not how it works. Is creatine safe? Uh, creatine is one of the most studied um, supplements. There have been no adverse reactions uh, due to supplementation. There's been a lot of preliminary studies that have said, well, maybe it does this, but when they go and they look at those studies, they're either flawed or they're not able to replicate um, those results in follow-up studies. I've heard things like it's gastrointestinal problems, which can be true, but if you're drinking the amount of water that you should be drinking as an athlete anyway, uh, you will not have an issue gastrointestinally with, with, with creatine. I've heard issues about uh, people say it's bad for your kidneys. They were not able to find that there was any uh, renal problems in people using creatine for an extended period of time. Um, a commenter on my YouTube, good question. They said that they heard that it causes or accelerates male pattern baldness. Uh, I looked at that study. It was a preliminary study. A um, couple things I thought were interesting was they were having the subjects take 25 grams a day for an extended period of time. That's an abnormal amount of creatine to be supplementing. Um, also, the amount of people in that study that began to experience hair loss was about the same amount of men that uh, go bald anyway. So if anything, creatine may, may accelerate male pattern baldness in men that are genetically predisposed, predisposed, <laughs> predisposed to male pattern baldness anyway. Uh, what else? Uh, is creatine vegan? These days, creatine, 99% of companies on the market make it synthetically. It is not derived from animals. The only thing you want to be careful of is if for some reason you're taking it in a capsule. Uh, a lot of those capsules are gelatin, bovine gelatin. So uh, the best way to take it is in the powder form. Um, which brings me to my next point. A lot of people say you need to follow a loading phase when you start using creatine. Uh, from what I've read recently, that's not really true. They took a group of people that did a loading phase, which is 25 grams a day for five to seven days, and then a group of people that just took the maintenance dose, the five grams a day. At the end of the study, the creatine levels were the same. So I don't see a need uh, for a loading phase right now. I think that's uh, kind of a waste of money and it's a lot of creatine to be putting in your system. And there doesn't seem to be a definite benefit. Um, how to take creatine? You just take about a rounded teaspoon, that's about five grams, throw it in a glass of water, mix it up real quick, and then drink it fast. It does settle pretty quickly. Uh, what's even easier is since I do take a protein shake before bed, I just throw a teaspoon in there, uh, mix it up, again, drink it quickly because it will settle and leave you left with this gross 
uh, creatine mixture at the bottom. Um, I think that's about it. If you have any additional questions about creatine, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments and, and I'll, I'll try and address them in the comments or create a follow-up video. But I think that creatine is a very beneficial supplement for someone who is vegan or vegetarian and is interested in strength sports. Um, one thing I would note is that when I started taking creatine, I didn't notice a difference and I thought maybe, you know, maybe this isn't for me, it's not working, and so I cycled off of creatine. And now when I cycled off creatine, I immediately noticed a difference. Uh, I was fatiguing at the same weight, I was fatiguing way earlier into my sets than I was on the creatine. So you may not notice something going into it, but it's definitely something that can help you and I think will help you achieve your uh, strength and fitness goals. All right, any questions? Leave them in the comments, subscribe, you know, do that stuff. All right, we'll talk to you soon.